Hello! So I'm doing a little garden vlog update type thing. Uh, I've had a few requests from people for me to show my <clears throat> garden. I haven't done one of these for a while so I thought that I would do it this afternoon since I've got some free time. If you can hear a bunch of kids in the background that's um, the local school. It's um, lunchtime still. All right, they're stretching. Ivan starts his job there in a couple of weeks, so that'll be fun for him, won't it? All right, so um, this is new. Well, the trough's not new. I used to have hyssop and bergamot in here, but freaking freezing as well. Um, <clears throat> I took them out because they weren't doing very well, and put them in the garden. So I've just got some stock. And some really pretty. Just for some, some winter colour. And that's a peppermint that's died down for winter and just a bunch of stuff. That's my lettuce that I sowed ages and ages ago. I did a video on that on my um, series, my Willow, not Willow, my Bramble Cottage series. Still, still harvesting off that. And my miner's lettuce is coming up. You can see, just little little bits in there and yeah so excuse me get off the garden um Ivan and I did a whole bunch of stuff in here on Yule actually which was on Saturday Yule in the southern hemisphere lucky bastards with your summer oh so ready for summer it's unbelievable so this was um all lavender down here and we had concrete like two-tiered kind of garden concrete thing going on and we took it all out because it was taking up too much room and it was actually all rotten now that is all currently that's my old oven that I still haven't taken to the dump yet that's all the concrete that we have to dump as well that'll probably be there for a while because it's going to cost a fortune to dump but yeah we took the lavender out because it was getting old and really woody and it just wasn't looking very good it needed to be replaced anyway so um, I have a couple of plants that I'm going to transplant in the back. I've got a winter sweet, which is like a really old-fashioned Englishy type, gorgeous, um, like small tree, and it gets really highly scented flowers on it in the winter. Although mine hasn't, hence why I'm moving it because it's not in a very good position where it is at the moment around the front. And I'm putting a lilac um, in here as well. Um, that's also around the front and I have another lilac to move that I'm putting up the back and I have a whole bunch of lilac um, little trees that I took from um, one of my clients place they produce suckers and so you just cut them off the main plant make sure they've got root on them pop them up and then you've got free trees and they're friggin expensive to buy so I've got five I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna put on trade me before too long and sell so yeah, there's a couple of trees going in there and then I'm going to fill this with pretty stuff. I have a lavender that I'm going to transplant from my witchy garden up the back. And just poppies and I've got hollyhocks growing and oh, it's going to look lovely. There's not a whole bunch to see down here. That's my lemon verbena that's all been trimmed back. And um, these are all fox gloves. And I've got bulbs coming up which is kind of ridiculous for this time. I've got bulbs flowering which is nice. These plants here, that is poppies, that's ladybird poppies. And we have to do some major work in the garden um, because as you can see, the idiots that built the house, we're only the second owners of the house, it's only ever had two owners, the people that built it, and then us. Um, <clears throat> and they put, obviously, all the gardens in and they've put the gardens hard up against the fence, which is really bad because the dirt rots the fence. So, we really need a new fence, but we don't have several thousand dollars at our disposal to do that yet. And they put this revolting guarding engine in, which I absolutely hate. And as you can see, it's um, it's rotted in places, and uh, it's just a big mess. So it went all the way around here, and we've actually um, taken it out from down here, and we're going to do that all the way along. But yeah, we have to do it. At a specific time of the year because otherwise I'll lose a lot of my plants so it's a real mess down here there's just violets everywhere and yeah it's just a big 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 mess but anyway I kind of like the messy jumbled look 
Um, and when it's on a flower, it looks really pretty. But at the moment, it just looks like shit. Um, what do we got here? Oh, this is just some um, little seedlings. I love using um, toilet rolls for planters. They're fantastic. Do a whole video on them when I get around to it. How to make them? They're great. So that is a that's a broccoli. That's a cabbage. And in this little thing, which is not performing as I'd like it to. Um, this container actually had a one of those body um, bands in, you know, those resistant resistance bands. Um, you know, you use for exercising and things. And I thought, oh, that will make a really cool little mini propagator. So in here, I've actually got wolfsbane seeds that I managed to find. And they are so hard to grow. It's also known as monkshood. It's incredibly toxic, really, really toxic, but it's a beautiful plant. But yeah, you have to sow them in the winter and in the cold. I'm not having any luck with them germinating. So we will live and hope, but I don't think there's going to be much happening, which really sucks because I really want to grow it. Some boogly eyes. There I go, eating a bone. I have to pop that pot up today and oh shit it's cold look I've got hyacinths flowering which is just ridiculous at this time I mean we're not even um, midway through winter yet so I don't know it's just it's weird um, my strawberry patch with a massive clump of parsley I have to clear some of that out because it's taking over the whole thing really so I'm going to harvest a shitload of it and then freeze it and yeah I want this whole thing covered in strawberries I don't know why we put all that parsley in there but never mind so this is the main veggie garden and all the raspberries will be pruned probably this weekend I haven't pruned all the roses last weekend I won't take you around the front because it's kind of boring around there there's nothing really to look at but um, that will be pruned and we've got um, beetroot that is ready to be harvested with some of it all these little things up here this is all broad beans I decided years ago that I hated broad beans even though I've never actually tried them <laughs> so I was like okay I'm gonna grow some broad beans so we sowed them a wee while ago and they've all come up I've seen some really lovely recipes um, using broad beans and you can't see but there's garlic all up here we typically grow um, really lovely garlic here's more beetroot and a couple of rows of carrots. I've had really good success with carrots this year. And normally I don't, but I got some organic seed and it's just done really, really well. For some reason I sowed a whole heap of cabbages. Um, so there's shitloads of cabbages here that have all been chewed. And one very sad looking broccoli. <laughs> and I don't know what that is. Um, oh Brago that is so disgusting thank you very much we won't go over there because you've just gone to the toilet you're awesome one of my rosemaries um, this is my witch garden that's looking a bit bedraggled so I mean I can't do much at the moment it's winter you know but um, there's a lavender in there that needs to come out and I've got um, oh god wet up here um, winter roses or hellebores, which are one of my favourites, and just various things. Angelica, oh, there's heaps of stuff in there, but oh my god, that stinks. Um, you're just vile. And yeah, we've got carrots in here, so you can see. Got a good, good crop of carrots. There's a couple of native plants there that rescued from the garden at the weekend and that is kale it's called kavala no, no, something or other there's a couple of different types of kale um, it's really really good for you and it's been chewed unfortunately by slugs I have to get it here all the time and pick slugs and snails off because they're just annihilating everything I've got a red cabbage and that might be a cauliflower. Yes, it is a cauliflower. 
cauliflower? Broccoli flower, I think. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for what's happening. Not a hell of a lot. I mean, can't expect much at this time of the year. But um, I've certainly got a lot of tidying up to do. There's a thing of bulbs down there. I've planted these bulbs I found in the garage. I don't know what they are. So that'll be interesting <laughs> when they come up. Hi, birdies! And this time of the year, I'm generally quite busy with planning what I want to do in the garden for the next growing season. God, my lawns need a mow. Hello. Um, ordering seeds and looking at new things to grow. And I've decided that this year, we're going to focus more on um, the flower garden than I did last year. We are limiting what we're growing in our veggie garden to things that we know that we can grow well and that we can store well for the cold months. So I'm not growing any more gherkins because I never produce many and they take up so much room. But I really love like pickles and pickling my own gherkins and stuff but I'm not growing any more of them. I'm limiting how much corn I grow because it takes up too much room and it's always hit and miss. Some years I grow fantastic corn, a really good crop and then other years it's just pretty bad and I produce hardly any. So, yeah, I mean, the veggie garden will always be full, but um, it's going to be limited to things that we grow well, that we can store, and that we eat the most of. So heaps of salad stuff and tomatoes and all that kind of yummy, yummy summer fare. And I really want a lot more colour in my garden this year and a lot more fragrance. Um, I love English gardens. I was cooing over Joey's... Um, her solstice video she was showing like um, her pretty wee garden I just love it, all the poppies and yeah, it's just really lovely so I want loads more colour, loads more flowers and yeah a bit more cottagey like my last garden was just absolutely gorgeous if I do say so myself and I don't care if I sound like I'm bragging, it really was um, if you watch any of my Bramble Cottage videos, the picture um, at the beginning of the video is the garden from my last house. And what are you doing? Put that down. You can't eat that. That's bad for you. Oh, what is that? That looks like a dahlia bulb. I swear to God, this dog will just eat, eat anything. Oh. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Last house garden, whatever, yeah, so um, I really miss that place. I had such a gorgeous garden there. So I'm going to try and up, up it a bit here and grow lots more flowers and have it a bit more, a bit more witchified, I think. And I need to sort out what's happening with down here because um, my white sage is not doing very well. It's being completely smothered. Mugwort's taken over the place. It's like a triffid. It's quite terrifying actually how quickly it grows. So I'm going to have to really divide this up and um, yeah I might dig some out and then advertise it for sale actually because it's quite popular. It's a popular in Chinese cooking apparently. So I'm going to sow some more white sage. I'm going to grow um, one of my witchy garden and one around in my fairy garden as well just so I've got a good stock of it. I've got shitloads, absolutely shitloads inside but I like to grow in the garden I love it um yeah and I've got violets everywhere just absolutely everywhere this is all violets you can see they're flowering oh masses and they just spread everywhere so yeah I've got some work to do and I don't want to I don't want to look to arrive like mid-spring in the garden just take off and then I've got like heaps of weeding and heaps of you know sorting out to do I want to kind of get on top of it now so it all depends on the weather I don't like gardening in cold weather I really don't um, like today is it's sunny but it's it's freezing cold it's like like eight degrees my hands actually numb here are such a little shit so I'll take you inside to the conservatory I'll show you what I've got growing in there 
better. It's so freezing outside. Anyway, I'm in my conservatory and I've got some night scented stock, um, little seedlings and some Flanders poppies. And I love night scented stock. That releases their fragrance at night as the name suggests and it's just lovely. So they're going to be spread all throughout the garden. And Flanders poppies are quite special poppies. Um, they're synonymous with First World War. And especially with the ANZACs, um, which stands for Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Um, and I sowed them on the 25th of April this year, which is ANZAC Day here. And it's a big deal um, over here. Dawn ceremonies and all that sort of thing. It's the day that the um, Australia and New Zealand troops landed on Gallipoli in Turkey. And it was just a really ill thought out campaign and it, they lost thousands of men and it was just a big mess. So um, the gardening magazine that I subscribed to gave everyone a free packet of Flanders poppy seeds to sow on Anzac Day and to plant out in the garden um, in spring. So mine are doing really well and I've got sheet loads of them. And they're beautiful, they're like big red poppies and they're just so lovely. Um, and it is coming up the 100 year anniversary next year for... Um, the First World War, so that's why everyone got free seeds and whatnot. So now that I've rattled on about that, um, yeah, I've got some hollyhocks, black ones, pink ones, and those three are uh, honesty, I think they're known as silver dollar plants. These ones didn't germinate, so I need to recycle them with something else. But yeah, they're doing pretty good. And this has got wisteria seeds in it, which have done... Oh, hang on. What do I see? Do I see something? It's probably a little weed, is it? Hmm. Yeah, I pinched some wisteria seeds from a client's place. And um, I just thought that I would have a gut growing them, but they don't seem to be doing very well. So never mind. Anyway, I'm going to go. That was just a really quick tour of my garden. And I have a haul video coming up very shortly. So I'll go film that and I'll see you later. Bye.